So hello and welcome guys to Face Bomb Time episode, I do believe this is episode 4 And it's gonna be Tortoise Heroic And Tortoise is kind of the middle child You know <clears throat> You know, we have Council, this really difficult boss requires a lot <clears throat> A lot of focus There's loads of things that can go wrong on Heroic and that can kill you And Magira, where once you reach the 6th Rampage, shit's going down There's people targeted by Torments, people getting Cinders, loads of ads stunning everyone and now the rampage comes, and the rampage on heroic hits really hard, so we're still stuck on that, but we are making some progress. And Tortoise is kind of meh, you know, nothing too difficult. I do believe a lot of people are saying this, but I really, really believe that if you have competent healers, then heroic Tortoise is actually easier than normal. But. Let's talk about the performance. The performance was really scrappy. I was trying out new things, which resulted in me taking so much more damage than I would usually do. Mostly consisting of me jumping into bear form where I don't have bark skin. Which might sound like a good idea, you know, popping Might of Ursoc and stuff. But on Heroic, Quake Storm hits for 100% of your health. So... <clears throat> <laughs> when I jump into bear form, I actually take more damage. You know, if I just see there, I just took so much damage. That's because I have so much more health and it did so much more damage. So that, that was a bad idea. I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> At one point, I had to combat rest our monk, our healer. And since I'm using this stupid glyph, here we eat one tick. And it was like, holy shit, what, what was that? Good lord, we're going to die, we're going to die. But we heal it up. So it's okay. <laughs> I had to come up with our monk, and I'm using the stupid glyph of stars, which makes you into astral form instead of boomkin form. And I had to come up with our monk, and for I think like 20 seconds, I'm out of moonkin form, and I don't realize it. So I'm not gonna be using that glyph anymore, which is kind of sad. I like my mohawk, my goggles, and generally the druid tier set looks pretty neat. So. That was a big mistake, and generally just I was doing very low damage, which is kind of relevant because me and our mage we are set to just kill turtles, and you know damage um, turtles when there are no turtles, and everyone else is basically just you know, AOEing the bat, so they're gonna have more DPS obviously. And first of the damage meters you can see is our shaman. We're using an Ellie shaman with conductivity. And she has rain of fire, uh, rain of fire, what? <laughs> Healing rain down all the time and she's just chain lightning the bats. And it results in ridiculous amounts of healing. And both tanks stand in the rain, uh, the healing rain. So, you know, it, it's pretty cool. It's a neat little trick that you can use here. Our monk dies. This was, this was pretty funny. I'm like, I'm going to res him. And suddenly, all the rock falls in the world, and I'm just, dude, as soon as you res, run the fuck away. He's a holy shit, so many rock falls, but he's a monk, so he rolled away, and everything was nice and dandy. But this performance, I thought like, hey, you know, the healer is down, I'm just gonna pop tranquility, and I'm gonna do my things. So here, here I'm running out of, you know, moonkin form, and I don't realize it. Luckily, I use my cooldowns right here, so the moonkin form is back up. And these cooldowns, they seem pretty normal, right? But the boss is, I can't read the actual health of the boss, but I think he's around half health, which is a big problem because we're using cooldowns or bloodlust, you know? Ooh, here it just spazzes out. That doesn't, don't matter, don't, you know, never mind. It was really bad. Um, we're using Bloodlust around 25 to 20 percent health and my cooldowns they don't come back up right so we Bloodlust and I don't have cooldowns and I was sitting down really sad I was like oh dude what did I just do <laughs> you know, we have Bloodlust and I don't have cooldowns that's the worst you know, you know that's the worst feeling in the world like there's Bloodlust going on you know all this all this meaty haste and you don't have your cooldowns and you're sitting there just oh okay I'm just gonna you know, pop my people pot and you know do my thing <laughs> but that was really bad and generally I was just you know running around probably too much <clears throat> and just not doing as much DPS as I usually do 
I'm usually around 190k ish here and I do believe I end up with like something 165 which is really bad but a few tips for you boomkins use rejuvenation rejuvenation is good because it helps your healers you just pop rejuvenation it doesn't do any overhealing and stacks up your bubble so <clears throat> whenever you have time you know or you feel like you've been hit by a turtle that, that's actually uh, I use it the most when I get hit by a turtle um, or when the rock falls are coming in I just rejuve uh, put rejuvenation on myself and it you know helps healers with stacking my bubble so yeah uh, and the conclusion well I was running around too much I think my nature's grace up time was horrible I wasn't using rejuvenation as much I used my cooldowns incorrectly and generally just trying to do too much stuff at once you know dotting everything while I don't have nature's grace is actually kind of terrible <laughs> jumping into the bear form which I'm never gonna do again so don't do that don't jump into bear form just stay in moonkin form and it's gonna be okay and um, I'm actually seriously thinking about picking up nature's vigil for this fight because I think it'd be you know kind of cool to have help with the healing a bit more so that's the thing I might try out next week and I shall report the results oh yeah this, this was not a very good um, attempt which is good because I have footage for facepalm time <laughs> hopefully next week I'll be bringing you facepalm time from Megara Heroic which would be kind of awesome right Megara the boss you know that was practically made for boomkins you know so much so many numbers so so good so good but anyway i thank you all for watching i'll see you next time bye bye